Getting started on keto can seem like a daunting task. So today, we're going to go over the first seven things that you need to do when you get started on keto. And we're going to try to do it in under five minutes. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we go live on Keto Beyond the Couch because life exists beyond the couch. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we try to keep it concise, you'll be alerted to it. So, over the last five or more years, we have had a lot of videos on how to get started on keto, how to do keto, how to be successful on keto, and we really haven't changed that much, but we've kind of made it easier over the years. And we think that another way that we can make it easier for new people to start keto is shorter videos sometimes, yeah. right? Like where you can get the information, get in and get out. And the bottom line is, is when you get started on keto, it could seem daunting. Mm -hmm. You hear all of these things, you see all of these things, you go into the store, you see net carbs, you see total carbs, you see I lost 100 pounds in 24 hours, <laughs> right? You see all these things, and you're like, I don't know where to get started. So in today's video, we're going to give you seven tips to get started on keto. The challenge is, can we do this in under five minutes? Well, let's find out. We're going to go ahead and start the timer over here. Ooh. Start this timer over here. Number one. Okay, number one is decide that this is not a diet. This is going to be a lifestyle change because you naturally associate the word diet with something that has an ending. You don't want to lose weight end it, and then gain it all back. We've done that before, okay? So if you go back to eating the same way you were before keto, you're going to lose weight, but then you're probably going to gain it back and maybe even more. I would say you're definitely going to gain it all back. Number two, clean out your pantry. Mm -hmm. And this is a difficult one because none of us want to waste. We, we bought the food and we're like, well, I'll use it first. That is the worst thing you can do. Get rid of anything that's in your pantry that contains sugar, wheat, grains, and starches. And make sure you're on the lookout for things that have hidden sugars, things like in your condiments and spice mixes. And you're going to be shocked to find that there is sugar in things like ketchup, tomato sauce, barbecue sauce. Heck, there's even sugar in pickles. Right. So the next thing, once your pantry's nice and empty, you're going to do number three, go shopping. One of my favorite things to do. Purchase lots of meat and healthy fats, things like butter and ghee and tallow, avocado oil and olive oil. All of those things are good choices. You can also eat green leafy vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower and spinach, lettuce, cabbage, even more. Just avoid the starchy ones, things like potatoes and fruits and veggies that have higher amounts of sugar in them like tomatoes. Now, we also probably should have said buy all the meat you want. Yes. You can have any kind of meat, from chicken to beef to venison. You name it, and don't forget the bacon. Right. Number four is meal prep. This is going to be key to being successful. You always want to have some pre-cooked, keto-friendly food ready to eat at all times. Things like hamburgers, eggs, beef jerky, unbreaded chicken, if you get that hunger feeling, you want to have food that's ready cooked and be able to grab it right away. Otherwise, you're going to go back to your old habits and grab things like chips, but it's not supposed to be in your house anyway. That's right. Okay, so number five is consume electrolytes. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. We're going to talk about this a lot because you may have heard of something called 
the keto flu. This happens when your body switches from being a carb-fueled body to a fat-fueled body. Two of the major causes of withdrawal from the sugar and carbs are low electrolytes. Use things like salty, I see you have that over there, to flavor your water and make sure that you are salting all your food. This is like the go signal to actually season your food with salt. It's a it's an amazing thing. Yeah, something like this is really going to help you. It's going to give you lots of flavor. It's going to give you sodium. It's going to give you potassium, and it's going to give you magnesium. So make sure you're getting some good electrolytes. We actually have a link for this down below that will also save you 10%. So number six, this is the easiest one out of them all. The hardest to do, though. Just don't eat carbs. For the first two to four weeks, we don't want you to count anything other than carbs. Eat as much food as you want, so long as there's no carbs in it. And we're not talking about the one carbon egg. We're right. talking about no sugar, pasta grains, starches, things like that. You can eat as many times a day as you want. Hello. So long as you eat until you're full every time you eat. But again, don't eat pasta grains, sugar, and starches. It is hard enough to give up the sugar we don't want to have to try and count macros too. We'll address that in a few weeks after you get fat adapted. Now, one thing you don't want to delay on is number seven, and that is get in community. Go join our Mighty Network group. It's completely free. You definitely want to get into community because you don't want to feel like you're doing this new thing alone, being isolated, being on an island by yourself, being the only person at work who's doing this, maybe even the only person in your home that's doing this and eating a ketogenic diet. Like you do not want to feel like you are alone. So get in community that is going to help you be successful. I promise you. I would actually say this is probably the most important one. Well, since we still have 30 Yay! seconds left, we have enough time for a bonus one. And okay. that is Get rid of the seed oils. Yeah. Now, this is not a keto thing. It's a health thing. Those seed oils are technically keto-friendly since they're fats. They're not good for you, and they bring inflammation. You're going to feel a lot better if you get them out of your life and out of the life of all of your loved ones. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe it. We are doing so good. We are proving, even to ourselves, <laughs> that we can keep it short when necessary. So we got seven things plus a bonus in under five minutes. And listen, if you follow these seven and a half tips, <laughs> when you get started on keto, you're going to have some really good success. But again, we're going to go back to number seven. Keep in community. Community is going to keep you involved. It's going to keep you accountable. And we have an amazing group. Go join our Mighty Networks group at members.2crazyketos.com. Again, it is completely free. Now, let us know down in the comments section if you have some other tips for getting started on keto. And while you're down there, let us know some other topics that you would like to see us yes. address in under five minutes. We'll do our best. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take out the most recent video that I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we manage to keep it concise, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.